as I think about it, I think World Series of Fighting is kind of dying. Did it ever really live? Yeah. But I think it's dying. World Series of Fighting is a promotion that doesn't really do a lot of traffic. It has some good fighters, but for the most part, it has ex-UFC fighters that are kind of washed up. While they do have a lot of good talent, that would no doubt be a great addition to a Bellator or a UFC's roster. World Series of Fighting, granted, it's probably the third. I wouldn't even say third. You would say that the UFC is the biggest promotion in the world. Then it goes to Bellator. Then it goes to probably Rising, just because of the Japan market. Then World Series of Fighting. Then Invicta. What you got to put one FC up there? I think the bottom half of that list is very debatable, and I think a lot of people would have different opinions on that. But no doubt, UFC and Bellator are the top two promotions in the world. No doubt about that. World Series of Fighting held their mega card um, last weekend, and I'm talking about World Series of Fighting 34. And usually, World Series of Fighting events air on. NBC SN, which is NBC's sports network. Um, and they loaded up this show. No doubt about it. They had four title fights on this card. And no doubt it was a good card. Okay? Um, I mean, kicking off the card was Yoshi Akami versus Paul Bradley. That started off the card. So, no doubt they had a good card, but... Here's the problem. Viewership is just not there. On NBCSN, they usually average around 200 to 300,000 viewers for main cards. Okay, Prelims air online, and we don't have access to that database in terms of ratings. So we don't know how that does, but I would assume not very good. The prelims that aired on NBCSN for World Series of Fighting 34, that was headlined, well, it wasn't headlined, actually. A heavyweight bout was the main event of that card, but it featured a middleweight title bout between David Branch and Lewis Taylor. Um, and Branch retained the middleweight title. It was actually headlined by Sia Allencar and Jared Rochold in a heavyweight bout, and that was a first-round knockout. The Branch-Taylor fight, that went five rounds, and Branch submitted him in the fifth round with a rear naked choke. The three-bout main card that aired on NBC, okay, it was the top four uh, TV networks in the world, right? NBC, CBS, Fox, and ABC. Those stations have been around, you know, since the 50s. So, that card was good. So, to open up the main card, it was a Bantamweight title bout between Marlo Moraz and Jose Naldo Silva. Uh, and Silva actually hurt Moraz in this fight several times, and it only went one round, but he kept pressing forward. He kept stunning him. Morales was on uh, Dream Street. He was backpedaling, and it looked like Silva was going to be a real competitor and a real threat to Morales' uh, title reign. However, Silva went for a flying knee, landed wrong, uh, clinched his knee, and the fight was stopped via referee stoppage. So Morales, who was on his last fight of his contract with World Series of Fighting, uh, you know, barely straight by uh, with this finish. So it was a good way to open up the card, no doubt. Now, the co-main event, was one of the worst fights that I've seen in a very long time. And I try not to be negative on things, but man, this sucked. It was a welterweight title fight between two ex-UFC fighters. John Fitch uh, retained the title against Jake Shields via unanimous decision. Um, both of these guys, this was the entire fight. They clinch. 
One guy would take down another guy, they would beat down the other guy, they would go for submissions, they would scramble, and the other guy would get on top and do the exact same thing. That was what happened for the whole five rounds of this fight. 25 minutes that I've lost in my lifetime because of this fight. Uh, And after the fight, Fitch announced that he found something funny on an MRI on his uh, brain and that he that was probably his last fight, which is sad, um, but not a very good fight whatsoever. And then in the main event of the evening was a killer fight. These guys went out there and just threw down. It was a rock 'em sock 'em kind of fight. Such a good fight. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do. It was a lightweight title bout between Justin Gaethje. Uh, taking on Louis Firmino. Uh, Like I said earlier, just such a good fight. Um, Both guys wanted this fight. They wanted to finish, and it ultimately did um, via doctor stoppage. Uh, Firmino suffered a nasty cut over his eye, um, and Gaethje retained the title in the third round via TKO doctor stoppage. But here's the main point of this video. The prelims for World Series Fighting 34 drew 71,000 viewers. Now, as I noted at the top of this video, the average viewership for a main card World Series of Fighting event on NBCSN does about 200 to 300,000 viewers. On NBC, big NBC, the main card drew... 951,000 viewers, which is a terrible number. Granted, it was, you know, 4 o'clock Eastern in uh, in the afternoon on a Saturday, but it was New Year's Eve. Everyone was, it wasn't like everyone was partying right then. They were just kind of resting up. They were hydrating for the big night. So they were watching TV. They just weren't watching World Series Fighting, which is a horrible number for them. Both Gaethje and Morales was on their last fight of their contract with World Series of Fighting. Okay? And in a combination of both of those fighters, that's $250,000 that cost World Series of Fighting to pay those two guys. So, those two guys will probably be gone. And the big question is, World Series of Fighting, I think it's dead. If you can't pull over a million viewers on NBC... I don't know what to tell you. I, I really don't. Um, NBC has aired previous MMA fights. Um, they've aired boxing events, and those things draw. But World Series of Fighting, even though it lived for a short time, I'm thinking it's dead. It didn't pull in a really good gate. Uh, it was at the theater at Madison Square Garden, New York City. I'm just thinking World Series of Fighting is dead. If I'm wrong, tell me in the commentary below, but I'm thinking they're dead.